Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a really quick one. I just wanted to share with you a purchase that I recently made from MZ Wallace during their 12 Days of Joy holiday campaign. I believe by the time you're watching this video now that campaign will be over, but basically they had a different promotion every day, whether it was a certain percentage off their sale items, a new print, a new style. They ended up releasing during one of those days a print that really spoke to me because it was really fun and happy and bright and I really wanted an item from that particular print. So I ended up picking up the rainbow print Avery pouch that you see right here. To get the basics of this item out of the way, length is 9.8 inches across, height is 6.6 .6 inches, and depth is zero <laughs> because it is flat flat as a board as you can see right here. It retails for $45 and is currently available on the MZ Wallace website in three different colors. I will make sure to link to that particular page on the MZ Wallace site down below in the description box in case you are interested in viewing this particular item. I really really love it as you can see it is very happy and very bright and very cheerful. It's got a gold MZ Wallace logo right there at the top the zipper is also gold the rainbow color is on the front right here with two colorful corners orange and then this beautiful purpley fuchsia pink color here the piping around the pouch is the beautiful blue color when you turn it to the back you've got two other fun colors for the corners yellow and green and then the diamond mz wallace leather logo you unzip it you will see that the interior is a bright yellow no interior zipped compartments or anything like that it's just one big pouch I absolutely love it I look at it and it makes me happy but I am very torn as to whether or not I should keep it the reason I am so torn is because it's so flat like I just don't know what I'm gonna use it for MZ Wallace has a Facebook page and I decided to pose that question in that page to ask people, hey, do you own Avery? If so, how are you using it? I'm kind of torn. I purchased this particular print because I do love how happy and bright and cheery it is, but I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Any ideas? Someone suggested using it as a receipt holder and that is a good idea. However, I already have a box that I use to store my receipts. In for a set amount of time and then just shred them so I think spending $45 to purchase a pouch for that purpose isn't probably the wisest decision to make at the moment and I certainly don't run enough errands to stockpile this many receipts in any one outing so it doesn't work for that purpose at least not for me someone suggested using this to hold my Kindle well my Kindle's already in a case so if I put my Kindle in its case and then put it in this pouch it kind of turns into a big Russian doll of trying to get to my Kindle so I didn't think that that was the best use of this item either someone did suggest actually using this for holding all charging cords and I think that that could be a good option I actually do have a pouch that I use for my charging cords at the moment but you know with technology these days you end up getting more and more cords and items that need a charging cord so that actually might not be a bad idea um, but I'm just kind of turning to you guys here my my lovely subscribers out there give me some ideas what can I use this for um, should I keep it um, should I return it you know this print I loved it like I said it really spoke to me it's very fun very happy very cheerful I've probably used those three words um, about three times already in this video but the reason I ended up grabbing this particular item is because the other two pieces that were offered in this print didn't really work for me. The one item that they were selling in this print was the large mica and if you saw my video from last week I already own a large mica and I try not to repeat styles with the exception of the small Sutton which is my go-to bag. I love it. I use it all the time so having three of those is completely acceptable in my mind. Um, but otherwise I try not to repeat just because I want to keep variety in my collection. And plus the large mica didn't have this lovely color incorporated into that uh, style and I really do love the added color of this pinky purple color right here. The other option that was a lot more intriguing and also a lot more expensive was the medium metro tote that MZ Wallace offers. I think that bag is fantastic. I actually own the medium metro in Nightstorm and if you are a well-versed person of the brand you probably already know what that 
particular print looks like. As the name implies, it looks like a night storm. It's navy with some pops of gold, which is probably like the lightning in a thunderstorm. It's just a really nice, chic color or print, really. The problem is I haven't used it yet. I've had it staring at me behind my bedroom door and I just do not use it. I don't know why. Um, I do love the style. I have used the style in the past and maybe it's just a matter of, you know, with time I will reach for it, but I hated the idea of spending another $225 to add a second medium Metro to my collection and then just have it be like back of the door art for my room. So that's kind of how I ended up on Avery. Unfortunately, there weren't any other styles to choose from. So that's pretty much the reasoning behind why I ended up grabbing this particular item versus the medium Metro or the large Mica. So I don't know. I feel like I'm going to end up keeping this, but I kind of wish I already had a really solid purpose in mind for it, something that I was completely sold on. So I'm turning to you guys. Give me your thoughts, your ideas in the comments down below. Let me know what would you use a pouch like this for? Something that's a pretty solid size, but it's very flat. How would you use this? Give me your ideas. I am so open to unique and out of the box type options, perhaps even. I am, like I said, thinking that this might be a really good option for charging cords, but you know, I'd like to be able to use it for other things as well. So feel free to shout any kind of idea that crosses your mind that this particular accessory would be good for. And let me know your thoughts. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think I should hang on to it? Do you think I should return it? Do you think I should exchange it either for the uh, large mica, which like I said, I just like this color that the mica didn't have, or the medium metro because that one had had this color incorporated in it so i i wouldn't be heartbroken if i exchanged it for that or added that to my collection i don't know let me know in the comments down below guys and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please do hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time i do upload a video thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye